Tonight, the search for answers continues after a triple shooting leaves two teens dead, a third injured, and a man in jail. Today, we learned Cynthia Peraza and Christopher Foster died in the shooting that police say was the result of a breakup gone bad. Fox 23's Jonathan McCall talked to people in that neighborhood tonight about the scene last night. Jonathan. 45-year-old Antonio Simmons, the man that police say pulled the trigger during that shooting, remains here at the Tulsa County Jail now facing two counts of first-degree murder. As for the folks living in that neighborhood in Gilcrease Hills, tonight they say they are simply trying to move on from the tragedy. As they sweep away the shattered glass left behind, folks on this quiet North Tulsa street are hoping to recover from the tragic scene that took place here last night when police say that 18-year-olds Christopher Foster and Cynthia Peraza were shot and killed. Tulsa Homicide Sergeant Dave Walker says the shootings were likely the result of a teen breakup gone bad. The accusations of, of domestic abuse between the 17-year-old uh, female stepdaughter of the shooter, uh, Mr. Simmons, and then uh, the deceased. 18 year old. Police say that 45 year old Antonio Simmons shot and killed Foster in Peraza and injured a third woman. Police say that Foster, who is the ex boyfriend of Simmons' stepdaughter, came to the home. Detectives say Simmons told the three to leave, but then followed them out to the car and shot them all. Walker says that Simmons claims that Foster was abusive to his stepdaughter and had damaged his home and cars. He put himself in that spot. He could have stayed in the house. Walker says the most tragic part in all of this is that Peraza was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. People in the neighborhood says that Simmons wouldn't have done anything like this unless provoked. Once again, Simmons behind bars here at the Tulsa County Jail facing two counts of first degree murder. As for the third woman injured in that shooting, she remains at OSU Medical Center tonight and she is expected to recover. Live tonight in downtown, covering news that matters, Jonathan McCall, Fox 23 News.